Greetings from Sweden and welcome to Everyday Mystic, an aid to your spiritual growth. My name is David and today I'm going to talk about what in psychological terms is called stereotyping. Or how we form mental images that distort our perception of other people. But I am not going to talk about it in the same way that is it, as it is talked about within the academia. Because there, for some reason, it seems to serve a certain ideological purpose and feed into a certain worldview. And this is exactly what we want to get away from. We want to break down walls. We want to foster love between us. We want to recognize that at the core we are all beloved children of God and at the absolute foundation we are one with each other and one with the Creator. So, learning this, how we form mental images that distort perception of other people is part of self-observation. Because we need to learn how our minds operate and what is really going on inside of them. And the first thing you need to recognize here is that it is in your best interest to learn this. Because you don't want to distort your perception of other people more than necessary. Yes. It is of course also in other people's best interest because when you have these distorted perceptions, when you create stereotypes of what other people are inside of your head, you can dismiss them without listening to what they really have to say. And in a, in a sense, you are pushing them away from you. So, therefore, it is in your best interest and one of the fundamental learning things in this process is that you need to learn that we take responsibility for ourselves first. We don't go out and point out the flaws of other people. And this is something that each and every one of us have to wake up to eventually. It is not about changing other people, it is about changing ourselves. So therefore, and for another reason that I'm going to get to very soon, you don't point out to other people that they are stereotyping. You look at it within yourself. And this makes a lot of sense when you consider that you don't have access to what is going on inside of other people. You clean up your own house instead. And of course we all know the kind of stereotypes that people who are racist can come up with or people who are sexist or anything like that really. There are a lot of such stereotypes but Really, we form these mental images of other people all the time. And I'm not immune to this, by the way. So instead of talking about these stereotypes that I think that basically everyone already is aware of, I want to talk about some others that I also believe create mental images in, inside of our heads. Think about what you might imagine that these people think. Think about how they might dress, what their manners are, what their views are in general, what their attitudes are in general. And also, I want you to think about this in relation to your own identity. And this is very important because your identity causes you to see other people in a certain way. And this is what we want to dismantle. Because think about it. If your identity causes you to have a certain image of other people that other people with a different identity would not share with you, how likely is it that your identity is showing you the correct image of these people? 
and I first thought that I was going to do some descriptions of just some potential mental images just as a few examples, but I realized that if I accidentally described some actual person and made someone feel like a caricature, this would not serve the purpose that I intend with this video. Therefore, I've just decided to mention a few labels, identities and so on that I think people can form some men mental images about that are not always nice. What do you think of when I say for example a new ager? Is it a positive or negative mental image? What kind of person do you see? Or if we take the other big group that is going through some sort of spiritual awakening right now that is seeing the world in a new way, seeing the very special situation that we are in, namely Christians. What do you think when I say Christian? What do you believe about Christians? What kind of person do you see in your mind when I say the word Christian? Now let's move on to, the, to a few others. Please think of which images these labels invoke in your head. Think of how you expect these types of people to behave, act, think, what attitudes do they have and so on. So let's see now. Let's take a Donald Trump supporter first. What images come up in your mind? How are they tied to your identity? Next, Black Lives Matter. What images come up in your mind when you think about these people? Or let's take someone in the alt-right. Or let's take someone who defines him or herself as a liberal. And let me say this. We don't have to agree about everything. I truly believe that most people want the same things. Basically. We have our differences on certain issues, but we all want to feel safe, we all want to be free, we all want the people that govern us to truly represent us, to, don't go, to not go over our heads, we don't want people to lie to us, and so on and so on. And as long as we are divided, we will be easily controlled, because I think most of you now start to realize that our government is not serving our best interest and it's rather serving the interests of unelected elites. This is something that more and more of us are becoming aware of. And this is something that is in the vast majority's interest to get away from, to remove. And so, what we want to do then at the essence is demand, dismantle these thought structures inside of our heads that are really just fake, they are illusions, they are nothing, they don't mean anything, dismantle these thought structures that keep us separated, that keep our visions distorted and keep us away from coming together and form something great, build something great that is not dependent on these globalist elites that want to control us. No matter who we are, this is in most people's best interests. And you can of course find your own examples of these stereotypes that you have inside your heads, these thought structures about who other people are, what they represent, whether they are good or bad people, whether they are moral or not. But my suggestion is that go out and talk to people instead. Go out and form alliances. Meet people, come together and discuss your differences in a friendly, cooperative manner as you move along. And all of these images, whether they actually are used consciously to control us or not, 
they are keeping us divided, they are keeping us controlled, and when we are divided we can be conquered. But if we come together and realize that we don't have to think alike to get along, and that there might be other people out there with good intentions, that have beliefs that run contrary to our own, we can really start to build something great together. We can really start to build connections, to break down walls and start to build the new world that we are here to build. Free from the tyrants, free from the people that want to oppress us and control us, and free from the people that most definitely don't have our best interests at heart just because they are saying so. This is a time of great awakening. This is a wonderful time to be alive and to connect with other people. And this is a wonderful time to really connect with God and realize that we are all beloved children of God. We are all connected at the deepest level. Ultimately, fundamentally, nothing is wrong. Everything is going the way that it should, even though there is a lot of darkness in the world. But we need to stop dividing ourselves with these stupid labels that we put on our minds. I'm not saying this to judge anyone. I have my own labels, I have my own distortions. But we need to realize that it is in our best interest to remove all of these things that cloud our minds so we can see each other as clearly as possible. And that's it for today. If you like this video, please leave a like, leave a comment and share the video on social media and other places. All of it helps the video to get spread on YouTube and the channel to grow. And check out the comment section and the description for other things that me and my wife are doing. And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, please do so also. And hit the notification bell so YouTube always notifies you of new videos. And other than that, just sincerely thank you for your time.